What is going on everybody, Nick Costa here and welcome to this video lesson on groove number seven from the quarter note pattern section of the groove library from the Zildjian drum set method. This video is going to help you learn groove number seven and then you're gonna see some examples on how you can change how the dominant hand is played in order to help shape the groove a little bit more. I'm excited to get into this with all of you, so let's get started. Now, if you've already watched the video on groove number four, you're gonna take that groove and get rid of playing the bass drum on beat one. Now you have groove number seven. So to play this groove, you're gonna play the ride cymbal by itself on beat one. You're then gonna play the bass drum and ride cymbal together on beat two. You're then gonna play both of your hands on beat three. And then finally the ride cymbal by itself on beat four. So to get a little more familiar with this groove, let's take it nice and slow. Once again, play along with me for 16 measures, but this time the tempo is gonna be 90 BPM. One. Two, ready, and... So now that you've had the opportunity to play this groove with your dominant hand on the ride cymbal, let's go ahead and move it over to the hi-hat. All right, so now that you're in this configuration, let's try another exercise. Once again, play along with me for 16 measures. This time the tempo is 100 BPM. One, two, ready, and... All right, so now that you've had that opportunity to play with the dominant hand on both the ride cymbal and the hi-hat, let's talk about experimenting how the dominant hand is played to help shape the groove a little bit more. Now this is the part of the lesson where you get to work on your improvisational and musicianship skills. And although I want you to be creative and come up with your own ideas, here are just a few examples to get you started. I'm gonna play this groove for 24 measures at 120 BPM. One, two, ready, and... So to recap, in this video lesson, you learned groove number seven from the quarter note pattern section of the groove library from the Zildjian drum set method. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and either myself or someone from Zildjian will try and help out in any way that we can. And if you are viewing this on the Zildjian Learning Zone YouTube channel, while you're here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that gets uploaded to the channel. And if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend that you check out the educational section of Zildjian's website. There you're going to find a ton of useful information to help either yourself or that drummer in your life along in their drumming journey. Best part about it, it's all free. So thank you so much for checking out this video lesson. Hopefully you've gotten something from it. And until next time, see you later.